Back in 1999, Elon Musk launched a thing called X.com, which was basically an online bank. But here's the cool part. His big idea was to make it a one-stop everything store for all financial needs. Imagine a website where you could do all your money stuff in one place. That's what he wanted to create. Now, X.com eventually became a part of PayPal, and Musk tried to bring the X name there, but it didn't work out. Fast forward to 2023, and guess what? X.com is making a comeback. But this time, it's not just about money stuff. Elon Musk wants to turn it into a replacement for Twitter. And he's got some even bigger plans. He said, In the months to come, we will add comprehensive communications and the ability to conduct your entire financial world. So it's not just tweets. It's like a whole world of communication and money stuff in one place. Linda Yaccarino, the new CEO, has this bold vision. She talks about X being a place where you can do a whole bunch of things like talking with others using audio and video, sending messages, handling your money and banking, and basically creating a global marketplace where ideas, stuff you want to buy, services, and opportunities all come together. And guess what? All of this is powered by AI, which means it's super smart and can connect all of us in ways we're just starting to imagine. Elon Musk, who's behind all of this, keeps it simple. He wants to turn Twitter into X, what she calls the everything app. It's like a one-stop shop for everything you want to do on the internet. From chatting with your friends to buying stuff to handling your money, it's like a super app for the future. Absolutely, it might sound a bit like something out of a TV drama like Succession, but there's some real substance behind these ideas. Elon Musk has been talking about turning Twitter into something similar to WeChat, which is super popular in China. WeChat does a lot more than just social media. It offers a ton of services all in one place. And if you look at the moves Twitter has been making lately, it seems like they're heading in that direction. Musk discussed his admiration for WeChat on the All In podcast in May 2022, shortly after putting his Twitter deal on hold. For those that have used WeChat, I think that WeChat's actually a good model, Musk said. If you're in China, you kind of live on WeChat. It does everything. It's sort of like Twitter plus PayPal plus a whole bunch of other things all rolled into one with actually a great interface. It's really an excellent app. We don't have anything like that outside of China. These features include developer-created mini-apps which significantly expand WeChat's capabilities. X is also experimenting with allowing verified organizations that pay to be verified to post job listings. Musk has also been open about his vision for making X a place where money flows. During his first meeting with Twitter employees after officially taking the reins, he talked about a transformative opportunity in payments. But wait, it's not just about handling payments. It wants to pay you for the content you create on the platform. Yeah, you heard that right. So here's the deal. If you subscribe to the product previously known as Twitter Blue, you might have received some awesome news in mid-July. They told some users that they'd be getting a piece of Twitter's ad revenue. Elon Musk first talked about this back in February, and now it's happening. And guess what? Many of these lucky folks receive thousands of dollars. Talk about a sweet deal. But wait, there's more. Musk said on July 22nd that soon they'll be sharing revenue for ads on profile pages too, and he claims this move will approximately double the payouts. So if you're a content creator on X, it's not just about likes and shares, it's about getting some cold hard cash for your awesome content. Now. Musk isn't the only tech bigwig seeing the potential of a super app in the US. Instagram is doing shopping. MetaPay lets you send money through Messenger. TikTok is gearing up to launch e-commerce, and Snapchat even gave offering apps within its app a shot. Lots of apps are trying to expand beyond just being social media platforms. But the big question is, will it all work out in the end? There are two major obstacles here. Number one, WeChat was designed from the start to be an everything app. WeChat, the super popular app from China, started out in 2011 as a simple messaging app. It was all about sending messages to your friends, but here's where the magic happened. It didn't stop at just messaging. Over time, WeChat added a ton of functions and became like a whole digital universe. You could chat, play games, order food, pay your bills, and even book a doctor's appointment. It's like a one-stop shop for everything. Now here's the thing, WeChat has over 1.3 billion monthly active users. That's a massive number, almost four times the number of monthly active users that Twitter had in December 2022. But here's where Elon Musk's plan might hit a bump. WeChat is not just a bunch of features slapped onto a messaging app. It's a whole social ecosystem. 
It's something users have been a part of since the beginning, and it's kind of locked them in. It's a level of integration and engagement that's pretty tough to replicate. If you're a Chinese person, WeChat isn't just an app, it's like a lifeline. Everybody you know, from your parents and grandparents to your childhood friends, teachers, colleagues, and bosses, is on WeChat. In modern China, you can't buy much without WeChat. Chinese retailers have gone cashless, and WeChat Pay, the digital wallet service within WeChat, is the way to pay. Even if you're a foreigner visiting China, you'll find it hard to get around without WeChat for simple purchases. People use it to pay their utility bills, handle government stuff like fines, and even schedule medical appointments. And they've been doing all of this for years. Elon Musk might be aiming for something similar to X, but WeChat is already way ahead of the curve in China. Number 2. X entered the market too late and faces too many rivals. WeChat's success might not be easily replicated by X in the Western world. You see, when Tencent launched WeChat over a decade ago in China, the digital landscape was still evolving and there wasn't a dominant player like Facebook or Google. Ride-hauling apps like Uber and Lyft were just beginning to emerge, and even China's own Didi Chuxing was in its early stages. Facebook hadn't yet acquired Instagram and WhatsApp, although it's important to note that Facebook and its family of apps aren't accessible in China without a VPN. Now, these unique conditions have made it relatively simple for WeChat to position itself as the gateway to all these emerging services. It becomes the one-stop shop for various needs because there wasn't a major competitor that offered a similar all-in-one solution. On the other hand, Musk and X are entering a highly competitive tech market in the West. They're aiming to disrupt multiple industries from payments and social media to e-commerce and entertainment. They're essentially taking on giants like PayPal, Meta, formerly Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and more. So Elon Musk is diving headfirst into a tech market that's already pretty crowded. He's gunning to create this industry disrupting everything app, and it's like he's going to war with the tech giants PayPal, Venmo, Meta, Amazon, Netflix, you name it, it's a battle on multiple fronts. But here's the thing, right now we don't have all the information we need to say for sure whether Musk's X can come out on top. It's still early days and we need more details to gauge its chances of success. The tech landscape is constantly evolving and being a newcomer in such a competitive field is a tough gig. So while it's an exciting idea, Musk might be jumping into the game a bit late and the odds might not be stacked in his favor. But hey, we've seen Elon pull off some incredible things before so who knows what the future holds.